Welcome again and this is my new project online tiffin ordering system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL and the version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and the MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting the Python with Python Django with MySQL I am using the Python MySQL Django connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website or you can install it through the pip also right. So this is a web-based application. So for front-end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used for creating drop-down menus, creating form validations like this. I have used the jQuery libraries also inside this project, right? So this is all about the technology stack, which currently I'm using for developing this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is online Tiffin ordering system. It's the Python Django MySQL web based mini uh, DBMS project Big DBMS project because uh, database operations is going on inside the project. That's why it's a DBMS project. It's a mini project because there is only and only customer uh, log inside the system. There is no admin log inside the system. That's why it's a mini project, right? But if you need the admin login, then you can contact me. I will add the admin login also inside this project. So you can uh, use customer and admin login both, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. So you can see this is the home page and it's a bootstrap theme. So if you open this project in mobile or the uh, tab, then this uh, UI will not be distorted, right? So this is the home page. This is about and this is about the project and if you want to change the content then you can change it from the estimate page also this is a products means the orders so this is all of the tiffins which is available uh, in the database so this all uh, uh, products are coming from the database right so if you want to add more or if you want to edit then you can directly change into the database and those things will be reflected here on the home page right okay so this is even you can filter the records from here also so you can see records are creating filter out here right okay this is the registration so if a customer doesn't have the user id and password then customer can log in from uh, register from here and after that using that user id that login id and password he will be able to log inside the system this is a contact us this is a static contact us page I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database, right? So it's a static contact us page, right? Right. So let me uh, go through the login. Okay. So the user ID is customer and the password is test. So once you log inside the system, you will get the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you will get the my orders, all of the orders which you have. Uh, placed earlier so this is the order details right so this is the my orders page right and this is the my account okay in the my account page you can update your account details even you can change your password too so you can change the password from here also right so this is a uh, change password page right so now i am going to order some of the food right so this is a buy now and how many items do you need so three items so this one so there are three items and the cost per unit means cost per item is uh, 199 and the total cost is 597 right so i want to order some of the non veg so this one and add to cart one item so total item is total cost for both of the item is 819.7 rupees right so once you click on the proceed to check out then uh, it will be redacted to the payment page and if you click on the continue shopping then uh, you will again get you will be redacted on the on the product page means this one right so i want to add this also this one right so there are three items which is available in the cart right if i want to delete some item then you can delete it from here right and that item will be deleted and once you click on the proceed to check out it will ask your uh, card details this is a dummy page this is a local uh, page and i am not hitting any type of external url so no need to enter the correct details okay you can enter any type of dummy details here and you can place the order right you have to pay 947 rupees it's a non-editable field you can't edit it 
right once you click on the make payment then those payment details will be saved successfully and you will get your order id this is the order id number 15 and this is your order receipt right and you can uh, check your orders in the my order history right and this is will be the last order this is the view order right so this is all about the uh, functionalities which i have developed inside this project right one more functionality i have developed this is the logout functionality right so once you click on the logout then the above administration menu will not be displayed and uh, uh, and you will not be able to access your internal pages means my orders and my account section let me show you logout then you can see the above uh, menu is not displaying right means you are getting the register and login but if you log in then you will be able to get the administration menu right so this is the functionality i have developed inside this project right so as i told you earlier this is the python django web based mini project right and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much